Right, let's see how far we get with this today. Um, I've pulled out another one of these cards. Um, it was a few weeks ago now, and I've just sort of thought about it and planned it. Um, so I think I know roughly what I'm doing, just so you know I'm not doing this on the fly. <laughs> Uh, so let's just grab a page in the book and I've got these pieces of paper. Um, hopefully that'll be enough. But I'm going for this sort of greyish tone at the top here. And I'm going to use it. So I'm going to give this a wash. Of just so to not like wet back into the background. Let it a little bit so that the just so can move, although it'll probably sink into this paper. It's quite porous paper, so we'll see. Now I'm going to let that dry and we'll be back with the next step and add some of the other colours into the background. Okay. Quickly, I'm just going to be getting ready for work again. I need to go and post something. <laughs> so I'm going to add just a little bit of this paint square with a bit of white not too much white hopefully I just want to add some of that dark greyish tone so that when I add my brighter colours it's going to give us a nice contrast Um, yeah, and I've been thinking about this page, it's been a few days because I wasn't really 100% sure where I was going with it. I think I've got an idea now. Yeah, yeah, isn't that that nice sort of bluish grey there? That's a really good match, actually. So I'm going to grab my sponge. I'm just gonna go over the page perhaps a bit more concentrated in some places and then fade it a little bit with that and that's 
my greyish blues in there and then we can move on to some brighter colours. Okay, so now we're going to add some of this Artiste Ducraft Spring Green. Grab paintbrush. let that dry and I'll be back. Let's try a little bit of neon green for that real pop. See if this works. We might have to add a bit of white to make it a bit more opaque, but we shall see. So much paint there. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, I think I do just want to add a little bit of white. No, I need more white paint. Uh, big messy box on there. Uh, oh, okay. No, I need to sort that out. <laughs> I need to go through it again and just tidy it up. Here we go. Now, let's give that a mix. And that should hopefully make it stand out a bit nicer. A bit more. Oh, that might be a bit too much white. Let's grab some more of the neon. Paint to use up here. <laughs> That's okay. some of that over. Right. I hope you can't hear that next door again. My sister. She has it done quite loud. Here we go, let's try that again. Uh, just get rid of that, I'll just dip that in the paint.
little better. Enough of that. Um, just move that there a second. Just move it down. Right. So now I need to make. The lilac colour, crocus petal. Sorry, I slipped in. <laughs> oh, I have this. Which I think is the right shade. But we need to add some more white just to get the tone right. Oh, that's okay, it's a bit pale but I can probably add a bit more for the next one. What I'm going to do first is grab my mark making tools. I'm going to grab a lid of some kind. How big do I want these circles? Oh, do I want some big ones? Do I want big ones? So I want some smaller ones. Let's go there. Still got a full battery. Very, very pleased with this battery, I have to say. So far. I like the fact that I don't have to plug the camera in. To be honest, I think it might be the uh, charger that's at fault, not the battery, but we'll see. Right. <coughs> that's okie dokie then. And now I'm going to add a little bit more of that purple as I say. Um, that is quite wet. 
actually, so we'll just dry the page as well. Give it a quick dry and I'll be back in the next step. Okay, so those circles are a tiny bit lost in that background, but that's okay. They're there. It's a very, very busy background. And uh, it kind of fits, fits for my page, so I don't mind. I'm going to start bringing some focus into this middle area now, so I'm going to grab my new stencil that I got in my craft box the March craft box See it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry on. Still more of those there, and then I'm going to clean off this stencil, and then what happened to the other baby? Right? But there we go. Probably fell off the end of the desk somewhere. Then I'm going to dry this. Try this again. This is an opaque paint and it's heavy bodied, so hopefully this will show up nicely. Turn it upside down as well.
with sticky paint so it's pulling me away. Dents a lot. Just a little bit more up here. Go and that's created a little flow through of the page. Then do a little bit more here. <laughs> there we go. And then, oops, sorry, I can't get the. Uh, Tiny bit. Some areas on the rest of the page. Gonna go and use up um, this paint and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so got this mixed media paper from Dale Around from Hobbycraft. So, let's see what is this? 250 DSM. Uh, yeah, it's mixed media paper. So, <laughs> I'm gonna use this little stamp that I got in my craft box. If I turn the platform a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, that's moved. Let's move and move a bit then. Let's see. Okay, pull that bit up. Moving. 
Mm. It's a brand new stamp, so it's very, very sticky. Sticky, sticky, sticky. I might need to use my new work. I have a link actually. So this stays on. Gives me a lot of trouble. Newer ink, so it should be a bit juicier. Yay, lovely. It's just a little bit in the middle that I want to just crisp up. That one's a bit crisper. I think that's the best I'm going to get it today. So, what have we got? I kind of want to use my ink to spread some. Excuse my head just one minute. There we go. And 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 and. I'm going to use my matte medium to activate it. So let me just give that a very quick blast of heat gun. to make sure it's dry. Hmm. I have no idea what colours I'm going to use. Maybe some of this green on this jacket. Um, I'm just 
grab a cup with some water. Darker green trousers. We're activating this with the matte medium. It means it shouldn't move later on when I come to. Glue it down. <laughs> Sorry, I went blank a minute then. Mm, mm, what's that? Charcoal grey, that's what I want. Or the mushroom. Brush again. Now, I do have some more purples, but I don't know if I have. This will all be crocusy enough or light purple enough. <laughs> Let's try that. his nose there. <laughs> I'll pull up some of that pigment because it's not too dark. There we go. Uh, let's have a little tiny bit of red on this mushroom. Head off to work in a minute. Go and then. Oh, there is feet. I've coloured his feet purple. It's not very easy to see this stuff, so it's more easy with this. Oh well, I can have purple feet.
Mas that bunny sucks up. <laughs> okay. Do I want to color that one? Maybe a little tiny bit of blue in there. done um, and I will come back to you in a second with the next image okay so I have this um, dying stamp set uh, which I bought from Crate and Craft I can't remember who it was that did the did the set was it Stephanie Make me something like that. Tattered lace. I don't know, but they do the whole Disney. There's a Disney collection of dyes and things. So. I know you're thinking maybe I've edited this wrong and put something else in, but no, no it will all make sense when I put my quote on. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get into this die. <laughs> Here we go. Right. So I need my machine. It's a big old machine. My handle keeps getting scraped under the bed, so. Tatty. Alright. Let's grab some of this card and paper stuff. Some paper. Whatever. <laughs> and there's my plate down. There it is. Now my machine is pretty old and abused. <laughs> so she might not cut first time. Love it. Yep. Right now I need to bring this pop this away. Put this one aside for a second and grab Did I put the stamping cap on with. Got a skeleton. 
some space on the inside. And normal place on the other. Cross your fingers that I've got this lined up. Uh, okay, so I'll quickly distress this and then I better go to work. <laughs> yes. I'm getting ready for work, I should say. Right, so we'll pop that under there then. This will be the first time actually I've done this with these inks, so this will be interesting. I haven't used them for distressing proper yet, I've only used them for stamping.
so afraid for that as well, I think. It was a strong colour. Oops, missed. <laughs> And now, uh, I shall leave that to set and figure out what the next image is going to be and I will be back. Okay. Uh, print that. So, these are all my little figures that I'm going to put on. Set that print. I'll also stick these on with some gel medium because some of them are quite thick and heavy. I'm just spread that on the back. And hopefully once I put my quote down you will see the link between all these characters. Apart from Johnny Depp. So we've got Jack Sparrow, we've also got a bit of a playing card thing going on here, just a little bit, and we've got a Cheshire Cat on a card, Toadstool and his watch. Is this supposed to be the March here or the White Rabbit? Possibly the White Rabbit, actually. Probably, yeah. <laughs> and then just a little Willy Wonka 
I was hoping to. I thought I had might have a big one of these, but no. I only got a little one, so we'll have to do. Glue down there. Okay. And I found a great quote from the great man himself, Robin Williams. Sorry, I'm just looking for my scissors. Uh, what have I done with those? Hmm. Oh no, I have no scissors. Give me a second. I found them. They're right next to me all along. Gonna put these mm -hmm. yes, I can put like that. to add some punctuation because I can't figure out how to get the apostrophe on the label maker. I'm sure there must be a way, but I don't have an instruction booklet for mine. But it's second hand and I can't find a, a booklet online. where he might be balancing on the letter. <laughs> uh, so I need, let me see what I've got in here. Um, don't think this will write on it. Oh, that might. falling down there. I have no space in my room at all. None whatsoever. That works. That's the Mitsubishi Uniball. I'm going to let that dry before I close the book. So you're only given a little spark of madness, you mustn't lose it. Couldn't agree more. And what does Willy Wonka say? A little nonsense now and then. <laughs> Jack Sparrow. Somebody says you're mad. Yes, I thank heavens for that. Well, this probably wouldn't work. You get where we're going. We're all mad here. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm just wondering if we need some splashes, maybe? Maybe some black? Yeah, we forgot to press the record button. <laughs> I can tell.
Hello, I got up early for work this morning. <sighs> right, so where's my fan brush? Uh, well, there's one. That one will do. I think the other one. Well, I don't know. Who knows? That's a lot of paint I've put out there. in my teacup. Probably will. Oh uh, yeah, I can see it floating in my tea. <laughs> There we go. That's enough, I think. Um, I'm just going to grab this baby wipe. Just a dab at my word in there so you can still read it. And yes, I have smudged. My little apostrophe, so where did I put that pen? Did I put it back in the box? Let's have a look. Oh, yes, I did. Here we go. So let's pop that back. There we are. I quite like that page. It's a little bit crazy. The word inspired the quote, and the rest was mostly inspired by the colours, apart from the characters, which was inspired by the quote. So there we go. That's a very different page. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.